Hi everyone, today's fluid art or pouring art video demonstration is of the ring pour technique. It's the second in the series that I'm doing of seven and it's a slightly tougher technique to master but once you get the thickness of the paint correct it's so fun to do and it's so much fun to see the results. Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and in today's fluid art video we're going to be doing this ring pour right behind me. Um, it is another one in the series of using the exact same colors but different techniques and so I really like this one. It's got a really cool 3D effect to it and so I hope you enjoy it too as well. All right, bye for now, but if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. That way you can get notified when I have a new video up. All right, well, let's get you down on the canvas for another one of these series. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm gonna start my ring pour now by finding the center of the canvas, and then I just tilt the cup, and as it starts to pour out, I get closer to the canvas. That helps me with making the rings. And then you notice how my hand is just moving in a small circular motion. And you know, you can go in different directions, but that's gonna change the composition of your art. So right now I'm just moving around in the same circular motion. And then as the paint comes to an end within the cup, I take my finger and capture that last drip so that it doesn't drip on my already ring pour paint. And then there's the cup. Sometimes the cups are even prettier than the painting. I don't think in this case, but sometimes they are. Here I'm just getting the paint back into the center a little bit, and then I'm gonna torch it, which brings out all the air bubbles, as well as sometimes you're looking for additional cells to pop up in the paint. Um, here I just um, noticed that I had a little bit of a drip to one side, but you know, it's all good. So as you start you know, to tilt your paint, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna move the canvas in a circular motion, noticing where the wave or the weight of the paint is at. And uh, you can also bring it back to the center, uh, which also helps in ring pours as well. But what I find is I find that just tilting the canvas slowly helps to keep the ring pour moving. And if you notice that the pour isn't moving, you can also add a little bit of extra paint on the sides to help with that too as well. So here you can see I'm bringing the weight of the paint back to the center and then I start back into tilting the canvas again in a circular motion. I'm really hating that all the blue is getting off of this, but um, it still turns out pretty cool. So I'm still really happy with it.
So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my tools and I'm fixing the white spots that I didn't get when I was stretching out my paint. So I just gather up some paint that was dripped about similar color and I scoop it up and I drip it on there so it continues to have kind of like that drip look because I don't want the sides to look smudgy. I want them to look like that was the way that they were supposed to be made as the paint went across the surface of the top and then down the sides. I really love this and I love all of the ones um, in this series with the colors that I've chosen. Stay tuned if you're interested in seeing the colors that I used in the series and how I layered the cups. Next, you're going to see all the colors that I used in the series and how I layered the cups. Payne's Gray. No, that's not Payne's Gray. This is Payne's Gray. This is a combination of a bright blue and um, metallic black to make it like this navy, really super dark blue. So I have that. And we have a teal color. And I'll put all of the actual colors. Um, actually, I'll grab them here. <laughs> so that is this basic aqua. I better put my glasses on or I'm not gonna be able to see the actual colors. Yeah, that's bright aqua. Then this one right here is metallic blue. Um, and that's this one right here. Let's see where did it go? It's metallic blue right here. And then this one right here is cobalt blue metallic and it's making a mound so it's 
not thick, but it's not thin. And that cobalt blue is this right there. Uh, then this one right here is lake blue. And again, making the mound. Um, then this one right here is, well, so the one that I said the metallic blue is not, it's this turquoise green. That's that one. This is the metallic blue. So, so that's incorrect on that one. Uh, then we've got gold and that's uh, the acrylic master's touch gold. This is Payne's gray and it's also master touch. Uh, this one's right here is artist loft silver. Uh, that one's right here. And then this one right here was a metallic, um, it's called satin finish, let's see, metallic paints, but it's a, a pewter, so it's a darker silver. And I went ahead, since I hardly had any left, I just went ahead and just put it inside that. And then this right here is a mixture of the liquid acrylic uh, white, a titanium white, but I put in there this opal um, glitter medium gel. So that's in there. And then I did put this shift in this one here too. So this basic green, I put this shift color. It's kind of cool, it makes like that. So those are the colors that I've chosen today. Uh, and we'll get started here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna pack this stuff up really fast and get going. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to be layering all four cups of my four, first four in the series and I'm layering them in different ways. So the first one I start with the silver and I layer all the way down to the um, dark silver which is a pewter and then I go backwards and then I do it in reverse again with a third cup and then reverse again with the fourth cup. So again I'm layering all four of the cups for the first four in the series using the four different techniques of flip cup, wreck -a ring pour, ring pour, and a dirty pour. Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.